Hey guys, uh, Dr. Kyle Loveless here. I wanna shoot a video for um, to talk about psoriasis, but more of a pers at a personal level. Uh, for me growing up, psoriasis has been, a, it was a huge part of my life growing up. I, I couldn't tell you the last time um, or when psoriasis started because it's when I started getting psoriasis because it's been such a huge part of my life. When I was, uh, I don't know, three, four years old, I remember having it. I remember going to the dermatologist. I remember uh, getting the creams for it, the steroid creams. I remember my parents having to put that on. And most of my childhood was putting on steroid creams, especially on my elbow. And it got to a point where it actually started getting in my scalp as well. And I think that was about fifth or sixth grade. I started getting it in my scalp. And so really most of my childhood was just these steroid creams. And uh, those are obviously not very good for you. They can, they can actually, uh, they actually uh, lower your immune response. They actually are there to block inflammation and block that immune response, which is what was causing the psoriasis in my, psoriasis in my skin. Uh, if you go on the Mayo Clinic's website and you just put psoriasis in to learn more about it, you're gonna find out that there's a lot of different types of psoriasis. I personally had plaque psoriasis, um, but the, the, it also says what is the cause of psoriasis. So one thing I'll actually do here for you guys is actually read this. And this is from Mayo Clinic. This is the psoriasis from Mayo Clinic website. And it says actual cause of it right here. Psoriasis is thought to be an immune system problem that causes the skin to regenerate at a faster than normal rate. Okay, so let me just say that again. It's an immune system problem. It's not a skin problem. And the reason knowing that is so important is because if you know it's an immune system problem, then we know there's a constant immune response, which means there's a negative impact on your overall health, one. And then two, we know that just putting a cream on the skin part of it is not going to actually get you better. Okay, and so what I want to talk about is what I personally did and how we figured out that, uh, that psoriasis wasn't just a skin problem for me, that it was actually an immune response problem that actually stemmed from a digestive problem. So let me say that again, the immune system, the, I'm sorry, the digestive system is actually a huge part of that immune response. What I found for myself and also with patients is that psoriasis and eczema and a lot of other skin issues actually have nothing to do with our skin. It's just where it shows up. So that if you think of your skin, think of it as a picture of your health. If you're having anything from even, even psoriasis or eczema or acne or any of those things, your first thought is what's happening internally in my body. You can give, take creams, you can take pills, but if, if you haven't actually gotten to the root cause, you're not actually being healthy, you're just looking better on the outside. I also had skin issues with um, acne, which I'll talk about at a different time. But psoriasis is a really big deal because it tells you that you're having an immune system issue. It's an autoimmune response, okay? So with that said, here's what I did. Growing up, I took the creams. I did the steroid creams. Uh, it's actually kind of funny. This you're, You'll probably think I'm weird with this, but I got so tired of taking creams when I was in college. I actually just, um, this, this is almost embarrassing to say I was this dumb, but my, it was on my elbow right here. And what I actually did is, because it would only come to my elbow and on my scalp I couldn't do this and you couldn't see it as much, but this one was really, I was self-conscious about it because you could see plaque psoriasis on my elbow and I didn't want to use creams all the time. So what I did is I actually burned it. <laughs> yeah, I know it's weird, right? So I got hot scissors and actually burned it and I made a scar out of it. And um, believe it or not, for about a year I never had psoriasis in that area again, but then it would always keep coming back. So. I burned it, which was in, in my way, the same way of taking a cream. So it's pretty dumb, I know. But now as I got into chiropractic school and I started going through um, different natural approaches and started eating better, I started to see that when I ate better, my psoriasis got better. It never went away, but it got better. And then when I would eat like junk and more inflammatory foods, it would always get worse. And so that got me thinking and I started to work with different doctors and specifically started working with the wellness way. And um, even, even this last two years, I've still had psoriasis where it would go away, but it would keep coming back and I couldn't figure out why. And so one of the things that actually made the biggest difference for me, number one, is I figured out what was happening in my digestive system. I did many years of guessing. I did lots of supplements that helped with gut health. I did lots of uh, uh, supplements that helped with uh, uh, leaky gut syndrome. I just said, I, won't buy, I probably have a leaky gut. Let me take supplements for that. Did that, that didn't work. I said, okay, let me get all the sugar out of my diet. Let me get all the dairy out of my diet. Let me get all the gluten out of my diet. Um, and that helped a little bit, but it didn't get rid of the whole problem. Okay, so those are some of the things I started to do. I started getting those things out of my diet. I got rid of the common food allergies, is what we call those things, out of my diet. But it wasn't until I actually did a real testing. So first I did a stool test to see what my digestive system was actually doing. Found out I had a bacterial infection and um, so a little bit of yeast overgrowth as well. So psoriasis and eczema many times is a red flag that you have some yeast issues. 
So then I started following a protocol to help with this specific bacterial infection that I had, taking herbs for that. I started doing some things to help heal my gut based on what my test said. At the same time, I did a food allergy test. Okay, now the food allergy test tells me what foods I'm allergic to in terms of an IgG response, which is an, infl an inflammatory immune response that happens, it happens at more of a chronic level. So it's not like I ate shrimp and my whole body swollen. These are things I didn't see symptoms from, okay? And my, some of my common food allergies that I ate every day were eggs, I had an allergy to eggs, black pepper, that's something I put on every single thing I ever cooked. Um, let's see what else. Uh, uh, now I'm drawing a blank on my food allergies. I just don't even eat them anymore. But that's, those are some of the main ones. Eggs, black pepper. And, and so I started to take those things out of my diet. Safflower oil, which is in a lot of different like potato chips, even organic potato chips will have those. So things that I was eating regularly. So I took the food allergies out. I took out the, uh, uh, or helped start to heal my gut based on my test. And then at the same time, uh, continue to follow that process. And that's all I did. And now I can tell you right now, I haven't had psoriasis at all for the last probably year. Like not on my elbow. I mean, I have a little bit of a scar there still, but that's from me burning myself. Um, and my scalp, I haven't had psoriasis on that at all. And so what that tells me is that as a big picture, that I'm internally healthier. Now this is, now I'm someone that has been eating organic for the last 10 years. I haven't had fast food since I moved to Charlotte, which was 10 something years ago. Um, I haven't had a Coca-Cola or any kind of soda since I moved to Charlotte. I haven't had um, any, any preservative type foods, any of that kind of stuff. So extremely clean eating. All I pretty much eat is meat and vegetables. But it wasn't until I did the stool test and I got the food allergies out that my psoriasis went away. The cool part about this is now when I have patients that come in and they have eczema or they have psoriasis, I don't I cut to the chase, I cut to the point. I don't I don't go through and say, hey, try this, try that. Get the food allergy test, get the stool test, and then we'll figure out what to do. And that's that's the same thing I'm gonna tell you right now is get tested so you're not wasting tons of time, tons of money on all these other gimmicks out there. And I'm not saying they're bad for you, but I will tell you that they're not for sure answers. I would rather have a test. So a stool analysis, food allergy tests are the first two things I would do right off the bat for someone's psoriasis and then start to address that. If the problem doesn't go away then, which almost always does, if it doesn't go away then, then we investigate further. Cool? So that's how I did it. That's how I got rid of um, psoriasis. Maybe I'll shoot another video on acne and how I got rid of acne. Um, but yeah, that's the big picture. So you guys have an awesome day and we'll talk to you later.